Good morning and welcome to the sports segment of the Weekend Show. I am Ayo Adams and I'll be walking you through the happenings in the world of football. It's all um, finals and finals and finals and trophies. We had um, Leicester City clinching the trophy against Chelsea. We had Juventus taking the Copa Italia against Atalanta. We have the FCB Femini taking the UEFA Champions League women title against Chelsea. We also had PSG taking the Cup de France against AS Monaco. And we also this morning we have our guest on Zoom from the UK, we have Dasuki Usman who will be joining us via Zoom to talk about the happening in the world of football. Dasuki, can you hear me? Good morning. Yes. Good morning, Dasuki. How are you doing today? I'm fine, thank you. How about you? How are you? I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing well. So let's get right straight into it. The Foxes are the champions of the FA Cup, while the Dvicha Chelsea won nil. And it's, it's a sight to see for good for Nigerians that um, Senior Man Kells and Wilfred Ndidi were part of this stellar team who undoubtedly have created another time in history after they won the Premier League. Now they've done it with the FA Cup. How do you react to that as a Nigerian and also as a sports fan? I feel very happy. I feel very proud. You have to be very you know, happy to like it for those two guys, him, um, indeed, me and me and I just hear my girls. You know, they've had a very good season, both of them. Um, he hasn't scored the double figure goals in the Premier League before it's the first time he's doing it. He scored 12 goals already. And we're hoping that the final game against um, Tottenham, he gets to go as well. You know, and um, definitely going to be a good sport by the time, you know, with other young players. too crazy playing alongside Ian yeah, Acho and indeed, you know, that, okay, these guys, they're doing it in the Premier League big time. They won the FA Cup, you know, it's just going to uplift the Super Eagles camp and hopefully we get to have uh, a uh, next year. All right. And there was also a route on Twitter with Nigerians who supported Chelsea or who support Chelsea feeling the fact that Chelsea did it to win. And some other Nigerians were saying we have to take it home for the fact that we have Wilfred Ndidi and Senior Mankels playing. All right. Moving on to the second story of today, we have FCB Femini. That's the women's side of Barcelona making history as they became, as Barcelona became the first team to have their men and women's side win the Champions League. And our very own starlet, Aziza Oshuala, was part of that stellar team who beat Chelsea, battered Chelsea four goals to nil in the first half, in the first 30 minutes of the game. That, that, um, and that's a good one for Aziza Oshuala. Um, Tasiki, Oshuala came from Ikorodu now to the biggest stages. Do, would you say she's a source of inspiration to young, fem um, young girls out there who want to play football? Do you think that their hopes for playing football should not be limited by whatever chances that they are given? Seeing the fact that Azizat Oshola is part of, she's made history as the first African woman to win the UEFA Women's Champions League. It's a great thing to see, right? Absolutely. And apart from the fact that she's an amazing football player, she also has a very big heart. You know, she does a lot of philanthropic work on the internet. And whenever she goes back home to Lagos, you see her training with young football players trying to encourage them and you know we've seen her journey the under 20 um world cup she was the top scorer at the end of the year in the tournament and she's 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 a legend you know the first woman to win the calf champion um to win the woman um champions league she is a legend she's left um her mark in the world of football yeah i agree with you for for nigerian football that week with, with lesser women, or, you know the Women Champions League and other um, Super Eagles players winning um, Trust Econ, um, Leon Balogun, Jo Aribo, it was a fantastic week for, for Nigerian football. Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's a great time for Nigerian football, saying that around the world they've all been performing really well. So let's move straight into Italy, where we are still talking about championship. We have Juventus, who clinched another um, Coppa Italia against Atlanta. The game ended in 2 1 favor of Juventus. And now, Suki, my question to you is, do you think this is a consolation for Juventus because they did not win the, um, the Serie A, which went to Inter Milan? And do you think this is enough to keep Cristiano Ronaldo in Serie A for next season? As long, because the, 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 the deadline today, if they do not get to win their game today, if AC Milan and Napoli wins their game today consecutively, they might not be in the Champions League. Do you see these as an achievement for Juventus based on their past records? And do you think that Ronaldo would stay in Juventus? Won the league for Europa nine times and Juventus, they are so after the Champions League. That's what they're doing. That's the reason why they want Cristiano Ronaldo and he has not been able to provide that. Um, it would be unimaginable to see, you know, it's unimaginable to think of a Cristiano Ronaldo playing 
Europa League next season, you know. <laughs> and, you know, and, um, but the thing is, um, now AC Milan, we play against Atlanta, and one of them will have to drop points. And if they drop points and Juventus eventually win their game, they would be in the top four. So um, I see Juventus still making that top four. And But if they don't, then there's a big, big chance that Cristiano Ronaldo will be leaving Juventus. It's going to be a very interesting summer. You know, summer signings, there will be a lot of big names that would move. You know, Cristiano Ronaldo is definitely All right. Thing. Also, what happened in the um, Euros would determine the, um, um, Cristiano Ronaldo's fate also. All right, then. Like, nice one, nice place to leave it there. And still talking about the champions, we'll see go to France as PSG also clinched the second title of the season with their new manager, Mauricio Pochettino. PSG now with the one, the Cup de France, as they beat AS Monaco 2 0, first goal courtesy of um, Mauro Icardi. Now, Siki, the question here is all the, the talking point here is almost the same as Juventus. Do you think this is enough? Because today, everything is going down the wire today in all the top leagues in football, from La Liga to the Premier League to the Serie A to the League One. Now, it's this Mauricio Pochettino winning two trophies. Is that a slap on the face of the Tottenham players? Now, do we now know that the Tottenham players were the ones who were not giving credible um, performances to Pochettino? Because now he seems to have won uh, the, the, the Cup de France and also the French Cup when he came uh, on as a coach. Do you think this is good enough for PSG despite all the billions they've spent on transfers? Definitely not good enough. You know, PSG, just like Juventus, they're going for the Champions That is what they want. You know, these big teams, when they pump money into the clubs, the owners, what they want is that that is what they're going for. Neymar, Mbappé, trust me, they are, they've, they've won the Copa Italia, they've won the, the League One. And that, it was, that is what Mauricio Pochettino wants um, And also, um, yeah, you can you can see it, it, it's not really a slap on the face for Tottenham players because they have done really well. They, they, um, they've come second um, when Leicester won the league. They were runners-up. When Chelsea won the league, they were runners-up. They played in the Champions League final. They've gained so much experience. The players, they would get their Tottenham players. But it's a, actually, it's a, it's a motivation for them to see that, OK, this is the manager who's brought us here. He's won the trophy, and they can, you know, channel that. All right. Now moving on into the Premier League, and this is not just the Premier League. In the world of football today, the top five leagues, the league, the the, the match days are coming to an end. Today is March day thirty eighth in the Premier League, in the La Liga and the Serie A and so on. Now, Siki, it's going down the wire today in the English Premier League. We have Leicester City taking on Tottenham. We have Wolves taking on Manchester United, and loads of fixtures that might determine who ends up in the top four because the top two is already known with Manchester City being the champions and Manchester United coming in second place. Now it's the fight for the third and the fourth place. What? Now, it's the fight between Leicester, Chelsea, and Liverpool. Give me your two teams who is going in third and fourth after match day 38. Unfortunately, we won't be seeing, maybe we won't be seeing senior Michaels and indeed in the Champions League. What, yeah. what happened last year might repeat itself again, you know. Yeah. Um, Liverpool, they're playing against um, Crystal Palace at home. You, you could see, you know, clearly that Liverpool are held my shoulders above Crystal Palace. So they should be winning that. And Chelsea, uh, Unfortunately, I think will be out. It's going to be Chelsea and, and Liverpool. All right. And then going into La Liga, we had a storm in the La Liga last week as Barcelona stumbled yet again and out of the La Liga race. But most importantly, Atletico Madrid pulled a late one with Luis Suarez, who was sold off to Atletico Madrid by counterparts Barcelona, saying he was not good enough, who has now pulled over 24 goals and assists. Because uh, in the season for Atletico Madrid. Now, it's Atletico Madrid versus Valladolid today, and it's Villarreal versus Real Madrid versus Villarreal. And we've seen in the news yesterday that I'm sure you also saw that too that Ronaldo de Lima, former legend of Real Madrid, is offering his players 150,000 ,150, euros if they win the game against Atletico Madrid. The, are, you, are you on the side of Atletico Madrid to clinch the championship today? when they beat um, Valladolid, if they beat Valladolid, or do you think there's going to be a major upset in La Liga today? I'm on the side of Diego Simeone. The side. They've done, I mean, early on in the season, they were almost 20 points ahead. Yes. You know, it would be very yes. disappointing for the, for, the, for the players to not win the league, you know. And then it, it's also a lesson for Barcelona. You cannot have a, a, a striker with Suarez quality and then say he's finished because he's, what, 34? You know, we have um, Cavani, there's Ibrahimovic, there's um, Benzema. These guys are still doing it big. There's Lewandowski. 
so Luis Suarez still has, you know, a good two years in, in his legs to, to give you at least 20 plus goals every season. So, yeah, I'm, I'm on Atletico Madrid side to win the league. All right. I'm also on Atletico Madrid side to win the league because I'm a Barcelona fan and I'd rather see Atletico Madrid, <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather see Atletico Madrid take the championship than Real Madrid. And moving into Syria, oh, I think we touched on this earlier with the final deal in the Syria where Atalanta is playing AC Milan, Juventus is playing Bologna and Inter Milan playing Udinese. We don't need the Inter Milan game. Now, I need you to tell me, do you think... Do you, think it's, do you think it's going down the way? Do you think AC Milan can make it through against Atalanta? Or do you think Juventus will crash out and do not be able to make the top four? I don't think Juventus will make it to the top four because I don't see AC Milan beating Atlanta at home. Atlanta, they've been very good season. This season, last season, you know, they carried on from what they've been doing last season. You know, finishing second is not, you know, um, just uh, what they've not been doing. Um, they, they played really well. So it's going to be very difficult for AC Milan to go to Atlanta and get a win. And if they get a draw, all Juventus need to do is get a win and then they're in the top four. All right. All right. So my our time is almost up, but I will, I will come back to you in, in a bit for you to give me your top five players from the Premier League while I run through the remaining headlines. And moving on into the still in the Premier League, Harry Kane has said that he wants to leave Tottenham as he said he wants to go and win trophies. He is peeped at, cham at champions Manchester City saying he likes the way De Bruyne plays. And the way De Bruyne puts the passes ahead for the Manchester City strikers is a dream for a striker. We, would we be seeing Harry Kane out of Tottenham? in Chelsea, or because he has said he wants to remain in the Premier League. So which club do you think you go to? Um, our viewers around the world, please let us know on our Twitter page where you think Harry Kane would go to. And moving on, counting down to the Euro. The Euro is going to start next month, 11th of June to 11th of July, the one of some of the youngest and brightest talents in the world. Now, don't take it away from you. When the football season finishes today, it's not the end of it. In a couple of weeks' time, we would have the Euro coming back to our screens where we'll see lovely and bright talents across the world. And some of those talents are, oh, before we go, before we go there, we have Benzema who, who came back into France after long years and drought out of, of, um, of the France team. Just one word, Tsuki. Why would you rate Benzema's comeback? Just give me a sentence. What do you think? Do you think, do you think he's so intricate to France winning the Euro, Benzema's return to France? That he scored 30 plus goals, and that is a weapon and a quality that France would need in the Euros. All right, and moving on, we also have young stars Musiala, who just broke into um, the Bayern Munich team. He also broke into the German team, and he's been called up for the Euro. Musiala was also played for England, but then he's been called, and he switched his nationality to Germany, and he's been called up for the German team. And and still talking on young stars, we have Chelsea youngster Billy Gilmore also got called up for Scotland. The young lad is one of my favorite players in the world, one of my young favorite players in the world. He's also been called up for Scotland. And finally today, we have... Um, that's okay, I know you're a Manchester United fan. And on, the, on May yes, 26... <laughs> let them know. On May 26th, yeah. we have... Manchester United taking on Villarreal with, with obvious um, absentia of Ari Maguire. How would you see this tie go? Do you think man, your team is going to take the win effortlessly? But also, hold up your Nigerian nationality that Chukweze is going to be in the Villarreal team. So watch how you <laughs> pick your side today. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know um, it's going to be a difficult game for Manchester United. Definitely, it's not going to be an easy ride. You know, I mean, from since when Harry Maguire got injured, we've um, played four games, we've lost two, drawn a couple. So it's not going to be an easy game. And then um, Villa Red manager, we've got experience in you know, the, the open. So it's not going to be an easy game. All right. Manchester United to win anyways. All right. And just three days later, we have one of the biggest games ever in the world of football, an all-English final in Porto, where Manchester City take on Chelsea in the Champions League final. Where do you two see this tie going to Desuki? Who are you peeping for the champions, uh, Manchester City, or from a Champions League um, champions, Chelsea? It's going to be a difficult one, but from what um, City plays against, um, City played against PSG, you can see the hunger in the players. You can see that this is the trophy they want to win, and I think it will be going City. All right. So that's all we have for you on this post segment of the weekend. Shedasiki, thank you for coming. But before you leave, I want you to give me your top five players from the Premier League this season. Just give me your top five players in the Premier League as fast yes, as you can. Top five in the Premier League uh, has to be Ruben Diaz. All right. De Bruyne. De Bruyne. Uh, Bruno Fernandes. Okay. Harry Kane. Okay. And definitely Wilfred Ndidi. Wilfred Ndidi is actually the, my favorite football player in the Premier League at the moment. All right, then. All right, then. Thank you, Desiki, for coming on the show. It was really, really exciting having you here.
All right, then. And back to our viewers. This is all we have for you on the sports segment of the weekend show. Mr. Khan is on standby for your early morning fitness. You, can, you don't have to leave your house to get warmed up. Mr. Khan is coming to your screen. Follow me on my Instagram and Twitter page at IOAdams.S. And please do not forget to follow the weekend show and comment like our sessions. Mr. Khan is up next. There is more. See you next time. Thank you, Ayo, for that amazing... All right, Mr. Khan, <laughs> what do you have for us this morning? All right, so today I'm going to give you a full body workout, just like we did the last time, and I'm going to teach you how to work out full. You know, if you don't have time, I'm just going to teach you how to work out your upper body, your lower body, and your core. So first things first, what we are going to do is warm up. So you warm up, then you work out, then you cool down. So for a warm up, you just like we do upper body, lower body, and core, we're going to do upper body. So we're just going to do arm circles, you know, one, two, let's go into it. Are you ready? I know I didn't ask if you're ready, but let's go, let's go. All right, so arm circles, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now the other way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, now you're just gonna go. Still upper body, working that upper body, still warming up. All right, let's go this way. Punching, punching across your body. Try to make that X in front of you. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're gonna go to the lower body. You're gonna kick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now we're gonna go high knees. All right. One, two, three, four. Five, six, swing those arms nicely. See what I'm doing? Yeah, good job. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're gonna go walk your core. So with your core, I'm just gonna give you an exercise that's gonna walk your core, but you're still gonna use your lower body. So it's called tin soldiers. So you're just gonna go this way, squeeze your abs to bring your legs up, alright? So we're gonna go this way. One, two, Three, four, five, six. You working? Seven, eight. You working? Nine, ten. Give me ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're gonna work on your obliques. All right. So working those obliques, getting those strong, nice abs. All right. Raise your hands up. Drive your knees towards. Drive your elbows towards your knees. All right. Keep your hand on your hip for balance. Let's go. One. Two, three, ah, four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten. Now the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now to round it off, we're going to do a full body, full body exercise. And that's just jumping jacks, simple jumping jacks, all right? See, we're making it simple today. All right, you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going. One. Wanna add some swag? Eh, 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 eh. All right. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Good job. Catch your breath. Catch your breath. Catch your breath. In through your nose and out through your mouth. Relax. That's it. Good. How you feeling? All right. So that was a good workout. And now you finished your workout. You can now go into a very nice cool down. Still stretching your upper body. Here, stretch your shoulders. Stretch your shoulders. I can feel my heart rate going up, so I know yours is also up as well. So still stretching your upper body. Feeling good. That's it. Now give me those hips. Yeah. From side to side. Really nice. Good. Very good. All right. Stretch it. Now stretch your hamstrings. That's it. Touch your toe. Just sit into that leg. I'm just going to go five, four, three, two, one. And we go to the other side. That's it. And still breathing. Five, four, three, two, one. And that is, I broke a sweat. You see that? Hope you broke a sweat too. And that is the workout for today. We warmed up, we walked out, and we cooled down. And that was just a fantastic workout. Hope you enjoyed your workout. Do well to follow the 
weekend show at weekend show underscore ng and follow abuja run club on all social media platforms abuja run club it's just abuja run club so um and website abujaronclub.com so that's a great workout if you want more workouts you can always just follow me on my page or just send me a message great job guys hope i see you guys next time good job